Welcome back, and in this video, we will be talking about baselines, scenarios, and synchronization. So for this part of the course, we will open the SP file training building assigned. And the first thing you will notice when opening the SP file is that the objects are all unloaded from the tree. We can load them in if you want to. And then the second thing you'll notice is that there is a grid on the 3D view. Uh, you can remove that grid by going to the 3D view properties and under general, just uncheck grid. You can also alternatively right click visual indicators and then uncheck grid. So let's go back to baselines and scenarios. Uh, a baseline is a snapshot of your schedule. So whatever schedule you currently have, you can save that as a baseline. This way, when you get a new schedule or you modify your schedule or you investigate another scenario, you can one, compare the two against each other or revert to any of the original saved ones if you want to. So let's start by saving a baseline and then right click create baseline. So baseline tasks. It will ask you if you want to refresh, you can choose yes or no, it's up to you. You can name it based on what you like. I would just put one dash in front of the default name and leave it as what it is. And also you can choose to baseline the selected tasks, all tasks, or baseline only visible tasks. So here I will choose baseline all tasks. Now, if we go to navigator and baselines and scenarios, we can see the saved baseline here. We can notice that when it's not selected, we don't see anything in the Gantt chart uh, that's related to the baseline. But when we do select it, we see these blue bars that are, as of now, exactly overlapping on the green bars. Now, if we change some of those, for example, I'm going to move this task over here and see what rescheduling does. So go to plan and reschedule. We can see that now we have discrepancies in the schedule. I don't want that changed, so I can undo that. And we're good. Now, if you want to compare the baseline in two different views, you can open a new 3D view. So I'll go to Windows and open a new 3D view. And then in one of them, you can right click, dates to use slash colors, and show the baseline. And now this one shows the baseline. We can tell from the name, and this one doesn't. Let's redo that same change we did before, which is what happens if we move that task a little bit and rescheduled. So you see that before that task, two views are exactly the same. And by the way, if you move one view, it's independent of the other, unless you right click, camera, link all. So, but once we get to the piles, we start seeing that the baseline is ahead of the actual. And then as we go, the baseline will remain ahead. And if this is not on the critical path, eventually they'll catch up. Now, baselines and scenarios technically are the same thing, except from a project management perspective, they're different in that baselines are where you compare different versions of the same schedule, as opposed to scenarios where you compare different alternatives and then choose the one you want. So here I can either undo my changes or I can right click and restore baseline tasks and restore the baseline. Then I can close this view. And now let's talk about synchronization, which is the most common way of updating a schedule. So let's say we are working on the schedule and then we get a new updated schedule. Then we go to external data. So that can be a navigator, external data. And then we can find our schedule, which in this case is Microsoft Project XML. We can right click on that, synchronize from. For P6, you can also synchronize to, which will take the changes you made in Synchro and put them into P6. In this case, I'll synchronize from and find the updated schedule. So browse, and then under schedule, there's the updated version, and hit next. Now for each one of these items, you can either consolidate, skip, synchronize, or integrate if you're using P6. Now the difference between skip, synchronize, consolidate, and integrate is the following. Skip will completely ignore that item. Synchronize will completely replace what you have with the new schedule, meaning that if a task got deleted in the new schedule, it'll get deleted in your own schedule. 
and then if a task got added, it'll get added. And then if you added tasks and they're not in the new schedule, they also get deleted. Consolidate means that nothing gets deleted. So if new tasks are added, they're added in your schedule. If some tasks are modified, they're modified. However, if they're deleted, they're just left in your schedule. And Integrate, which is available for P6 synchronization as well as SPX synchronization for 3D models and Microsoft Project XML in the future release, is like a mix between Consolidate and Synchronize. If an activity gets deleted in the new schedule, it gets deleted in your own. However, if you've added an activity that's not present in the P6 schedule, it's not touched. So it only deletes the deleted activities if they come from the same source. Meaning that this is the best option to use when you're working with multiple schedules imported in the same file or when you're adding your own activities and you want those to remain in the schedule. In this case, I'll just use the default settings and click synchronize. And then finish. And here we can compare the baseline versus the actual. So in blue, we can still see the baseline. And as we saw earlier, you can put two views and show the two dates and then scrub through the focus time to see how that happens. I'll leave that as a challenge for you guys. So pause the video now and try to do that. And after you've paused the video and tried to do that, I'll do that myself. I'll just open a new 3D view. Let's do that this time from the 3D ribbon. Open a new window, right click, link the cameras, and then show the baseline in one of them. So dates to use, baseline. And now let's investigate the differences. So here we see that steel finishes sooner, and then the facade starts sooner. And let's see the end of the project. The project altogether finishes sooner. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.